Hello, Robbie Susan Chandler here from Robbie Susan's Cards and Crafts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Quincy, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, Florida. Today I'm here to share a beautiful card with you. This one right here, made with this great stamp set called Quiet Reflection. And this is the stamp we're actually going to be using in the set today. But let's take a look at the card. And this is the stamp we're using, but another focal feature of this um, set is this forest scene on the front. And that is actually made with the die set called Delicate Forest. And that die looks like this. And I also added a little sprig on the bottom, as you can see right here to give it a little extra fill in. Otherwise, it has a real big opening right there, which I kind of wanted a little more greenery in there. So I just cut this piece and added it behind it to give it this look. And that paper that I used came from this set called Poetic Expression, which kind of is a surprise because when you look at the set, you see a lot of blues, but then if you check the other colors in it, you'll see the greens and some moody mauve and uh, bubble bath. So, and there's some wild wheat. So it's it's quite a, got a variety of colors and papers in here. But this one's called the Poetic Expression. It's in the um, mini catalog. Um, so I cut this my frame from that paper and glued my little extra leaves behind it. Now one thing I did want to tell you about this die is I found out it does not cut around the outside edge so you cut your paper to the size you want it to be and this I started at four by five and a fourth. So you need to make sure you start there because it's just going to cut the middle out. And like this piece, if you notice here I just cut it, actually I cut this piece out of what was left from the middle and that's why it has this weird bottom on it because it was cut from what was left from up here. So I just cut that out and then I could trim it off where I wanted it. So it's not going to cut your other edge, just one side. So keep that in mind when you're cutting your piece. Okay, now let's start with our pieces. Let's put my card right here. And you've seen my name, so like I said, I'm Robbie Susan Chandler, so let's get that out of the way right now. All right, let's start with our card base. And for my card base, I used Lost Lagoon, and it is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a four. And I just folded it in half. We're actually going to put this card together today. My next layer is Pool Party. And it's five and three eighths by four and an eighth. I wanted just a small border around the uh, edge of that. I didn't go with my five and four and a fourth because that's what my next layer is. So let's go ahead and pop this on. This stamp set was really fun to use in class. I was a little reluctant at first that it might, might be tricky and hard to use, but we managed to um, get it under control and everybody's cards turned out really great. Okay, there we go. Got a little glue on my fingers. Great way to start out. Alrighty. Put this to the side. Rub a little bit of this glue off. Alright, so here's our base and our first layer. And then what I did, I cut my, like I showed you, I cut my far seam here and I just put it down at the top only. I pulled my backing off. Put this over here. So I didn't want to put the whole thing down yet because I needed to stamp my reflection stamp, but I wasn't quite sure where to place it. So I didn't want it stuck and me have to pull it up or try to figure out where it belonged and couldn't find the right spot. So we'll just start like this. So it's got just a small border around it too. Just enough so that pool party shows through. So like I said, I'm just gonna stick the top down. So see, we still got a little flap here at the bottom. Okay, so let's work on our next layer. This is the fun part. Now what I did, I cut 
a very vanilla piece with the garden meadow dies with this arch because that's the um I, I decided i wanted that and also it just so happened i had a bunch of these left from a previous card i'd made in a class and i thought well i have these we might as well use them so we are all right here's my stamp and if you look at this, you'll see there's trees at the top, then you've got kind of a water line, and then there's your reflection in the water. Now the two colors I'm going to use are the Pretty Peacock for my trees, Misty Moonlight for the bottom. Now let me show you all my experiments before I got to this point. All right, here's where I tried just solid colors. Let's look at it this way. This was Garden Green. This was uh, Azure Afternoon. This was Mossy Meadow and Blueberry Bushel. So that's if you stamp it all in one color. Here is uh, Boho Blue. I got these upside down. There we go. Pretty Peacock, all one color, Boho Blue. And then Shaded Spruce and Balmy Blue. So then I started putting the two together. And here I tried my, and I don't even remember which colors these were, but. As you see over here, I started getting darker and ended up settling on the Pretty Peacock and the um, Misty Moonlight. So there's a couple of ways you can stamp this up. If you look at the stamp closely, there's a little line right here in the middle. And it's kind of faint, but that appears to be where the trees meet the, meet the water. So I'm gonna start with the trees and this is my Pretty Peacock. And I like to use the end of the stamp that has the least border. And now what I did when I did my stamp, I held it up and did this. But my classmates, my customers show me, it's easier if you just lay it down on your tabletop. And just take your ink pad and just start inking. Now, can you see that? And actually it is easier this way. I'm going to hold it up. You see how I've kind of gone up to that line? Now, you will think that you don't have any ink up here, but this is one of those distinctive stamp sets. So there is ink in there. It's just very light because that's the nature of the stamp. Now I'm going to turn it around. I'm left-handed. And I'm going to apply the Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to go up and meet that green. And I like to go into it a little bit. And you want to do it so it's kind of an even line. And I'm seeing line I don't really like. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, can you see that? Kind of all goes together there. Now here's the fun part. Everybody kind of holds their breath. You line your little arch up here. And I like to huff on it and re-moisten it. Turn it over and bring it up a little bit from the bottom, not a whole lot, and just press it down and hold it for a few seconds. Let that ink really soak into the paper. All right, let's see what we got. One, two, three. <gasps> Beautiful, perfect, just what I wanted. Yay, so exciting. And I'm thinking that um, as the classes went by, I don't know if you can see much difference, but see when I was playing back, uh, I can see a little bit of difference in the two where this was a really inky, inky pad. And this is as my classes went by, uh, my pad, was not quite as inked up. And I'm really thinking I like this better because I can see the trees better. So now let's put this on our card. So what I did, um, I just put a little ink like right in the middle of this. You don't want much. And you're gonna lift your little flap up here. Slide this under. And you wanna kind of center it, but you wanna get this bottom so it's We've got a little bit of that detail showing, not much. Oh, that looks pretty good right there. Right, let me straighten that there. Yeah, I think I like that right there. All right, so let's pull these in. Down on the bottom here, I just cut me a thin strip. So I felt like I needed that stability. Now stay tuned because I'm going to play around with this stamp a little bit in a minute because I want to show you some other methods. Okay, so 
there we go. Now I noticed that this little lamb wants to be kind of wild, so I just dabbed a little dot of glue on him and stuck him down so he wouldn't get torn off. But there you go. Now you can put any little sentiment you want on it. I put a thinking of you on this one. And on the inside, I used, I've started using my designer paper on the inside, and this is a three inch by four and a half inch piece. And it's actually from the delightful floral designer paper. It was this piece right here, and it was the back of that piece. So I stamped on it in Pretty Peacock with this Delicate Forest, which is the other part of the bundle with this die cut. So these two would go together if you bought the bundle. And here's the tree, and here's the sentiments. Stay strong, my friend, you'll get through this. Now, I did like the uh, sayings in Quiet Reflection. They're just kind of small, but there was a nice one for a pet. The friendship of a pet is one of life's greatest gifts. And I do like the sor Sorry for Your Loss. These are kind of larger ones, but these really are tiny, but they're very nice. God is our refuge and strength, praying for His comfort to soften the sadness and bring you peace. To, to remember is to give life to those we've loved and lost. So this is really a very nice set. Okay, so let's put this on the inside. And we will have this card completed. But like I said, I want to play around with that stamp set for a minute while I've got you here. So I haven't actually done this yet. And I thought, well, it might be fun to do it on camera. And if it doesn't work, I can always stop my recording right here, can't I? All right, so there's that card finished. Now I'm going to clean my stamp off and show you some other ways we're going to try this. Now, you know we have our blending brushes and we, you know we have our daubers. So the thought is, what kind of effect would we get if we used one of those instead? Let's lay back on here. So I've got some scrap paper here. And let's start with, um, start with the blending brushes. All right, let's start with Pretty Peacock. So you would want to swipe this across the top. And bring it right down to that line. Okay. You can kind of see that it's on there. It doesn't show up quite as inky looking as it did when we did direct ink to stamp. All right, now let's turn it around and put our Misty Moonlight on the bottom. It's going to be fun to see what this looks like. So I didn't get to do this in class because the other way was working so well. It's like, why mess up a good thing? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, let's give a huff and a puff and see what happens here. And I'm going to do it this way because if it works out well, I'm going to take my arch and cut it out. All righty. You know what I see on this end looks a little low. I'm going to bring this up a little bit because it looks like my waterline is sinking. Yeah, that looks a little better. All right, cross your fingers. Let's see what we get. All right, one, two, three. I like to count to about five or so. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. I like the um, I, I like the direct ink to pad better. I think this is too light. Should have put more on it, I guess. All right, let's try one more way. Let's try with. Let me clean it off. Let's try with the dauber. Dabber, da dauber, dauber. Okay that cleaned off. All right, let's start with the Pretty Peacock. That would be my trees, Pretty Peacock. All right, maybe with this one we can get a heavier application of ink. I think the blending brush just doesn't give us a method to get as much ink on here as this stamp would really required to get that pretty look we got on the first stamp. Thank y'all for being my guinea pigs on this and watching me go through this to see what else might work. 
All right, now let's try the misty moonlight on the bottom. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit thicker application of ink on this one, especially with the misty moonlight. That one's really um, showing some ink on it. Let me put a little more pretty peacock. Okay, let's see what this turns out. You know what, I'm gonna do it on the back of this one just because I'm not particularly thrilled with that one, so let's just do the back side. All right, trees up. We had to be very careful in class too to make sure we got our trees up every time, especially when we were stamping on the arch because we went on and stamped the arch. All right, let's hold this one down for a minute or two. Now, you notice I'm not stamping on a, a pad with this pad. When you use your, your red rubber uh, stamps, you don't really need a, a foam pad underneath, but if you're using the clear photopolymer, you do. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, well, that's interesting. We kind of lost our detail on this one. I'm not real impressed with that. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, I think the daubers are out. I would not use them. Okay, so in my mind and in my book, the winner is ink directly to the stamp set. So, yep, this just doesn't get it. You know, there is another stamp set in this, um, there's another stamp in this set, and it's this one. I have not tried it, so let's give it a go down here on the bottom. We've got room. How about here? Let's try this one and see what it looks like. Let's do our direct ink to stamp to see. Okay, this is our tree, so we wanna do that with our pretty peacock. And I see we've still got that little line there that we need to look at. So I'm gonna hit the ink on this one. And you really need to make sure where the two meet that you don't have this weird little line there. All right, now let's turn it around and do our misty moonlight. Kind of blend the two together up in there. Like I said, you don't really want to see the little line there. I don't really want to try to blend them in. All right, let's see what we got. I'm anxious to see what this stamp looks like. Okay, here's our top. This one's going to give more of a real deep watery look. All right. Let's hold it down for a minute. And you ready? One, two, three. Oh, pretty, I like it. Look, yeah, I really like that one. And definitely the ink pad direct to the stamp, I believe, is the way to go. Yeah, I like that one too. Okay, so there we go. How do you like that? And see, I've introduced a new stamp set to you and how to use it and just, it's a one in the catalog that you probably just totally overlooked, didn't realize how pretty it was. So, how about liking my video for me? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you need a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. If you'd like to, a team to join, I'd love for you to join my team. So, to subscribe, just click on my face down there that's at the, at the end of this video. And until next time, happy crafting!